Hi guys, welcome back to Geezer Grills as we continue on with our Gamathon. <laughs> I do love that bit, I really do. So today we're gonna to be using the old Monster Pacific Punch. I don't know why it's called Pacific Punch, but we're gonna have a little try. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess that's answered the question then. <laughs> it's certainly got a punch to it, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, after that little, <laughs> it fucking knocked me out. <laughs> right, you know the rules, okay? Here we've got a five pound gammon. You get 20 minutes per pound and 20 minutes for the pot. Bottom line is this adds up to two hours. So we're going to take this here gammon and we're going to put it in the pot. <laughs> all right. And then all we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take our Monster Pacific Punch and keep on filling until she is completely submerged. Here we go. Hey, yo, here we go. <laughs> I am going to be honest with you, though. I'm going to have to do the old dandelion and burdock next because I've had so many people now ask me to do it. So that will be next on the old hit list. I shall uh, pick up another gammon next week. We're certainly getting through a lot of fucking gammon in this house, though. I'll tell you that much. Hey, yo. Oh, he's a tiger. Fucking false nine at me then. Uh, it has definitely got a fruity taste, so I reckon this is going to work well. And say the best one so far has been the old uh, Mango Loco. And I do think it's to do with the amount of bloody sugar that are in these that makes it so sweet. Especially the glaze is nice as well, you know. I'm going to need another one here. All right, and there we have it. And that's worked out perfect because I've just got nothing here for the, to make up the old glaze. Right, I want to see you guys in about an hour and a half when we make up the glaze. This bad boy is going on the hob for two hours. I'll see you then. Right, guys, we've got half hour left before that bad boy comes off the hob. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a nice glaze. You know what I mean? I am going to mix it up a little bit today in the sense that normally I use Dijon, but I'm going to use Dijon and English mustard today. Now this, English mustard's definitely got a sharper kick to it, so I ain't going to go too heavy. But, you know what I mean, we've got to throw something else in there, haven't you? you know? Anyway, as per, we're going to start off with our monster. Well, I'll put the rest of that in there. Happy days. And let's get this bad boy reduced down to make ourselves a nice glaze. I heard this joke the other day. What do you call a coffee with a pair of trousers in it? A cappuccino. <laughs> it's the little things with me. <laughs> you ask my missus. <laughs> let's get some Dijon in there, shall we? I'm going to think in about two big splodges like a so. And then what I'm going to do, big-ish splotch of the old English mustard, like so, something like that. And it, it's going to be a lot of flavour there. I personally think, judging by the way that Pacific Punch smells, I reckon it can handle it. So, ayo, here we go. <laughs> ayo, here we go. All we're going to do to that is add ourselves a bit of red wine vinegar. I mean, we've got a punch. Got to have a bit of red wine, haven't you? Little splash of that, about that much. And guys... Let's get this fella to reduce down, shall we? Now, I reckon that that uh, gammon is going to come out as pink as a monkey's arse because <laughs> this, uh, this monster bloody, this Pacific Punch monster is definitely bloody pink. I've got a lot, I ain't going to lie to you. Shabbily, shabbily. Now, it's going to be interesting to see what the old Pacific Punch is like, isn't it? I was nervous in case another one of them fuckers come at me. <laughs> and guys, once we are getting looking, something very similar to that, we're going to wait another half hour before we bring that gammon out and win a smoker with a nice glaze. Happy days for the glaze. <laughs> I fucking can't stop myself, you know that. Right, guys, we have hit time. Let's get this bad boy off. Fucking, <laughs> 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 I want to see the colour of this thing in here. <laughs> Are you ready? It's like a baboon's arse, doesn't it? Look at the colour on that. <laughs> right, let's put this over here. Move this out of the way. <laughs> have a little switch wrapped in here. Well, there you have it, guys. A monster Pacific punch. Gammon. <laughs> Happy days. And then the funny part is, what we're going to do is we're then going to coat it in this bright orange glaze. Do you know what I mean? I mean, here we go. Fucking things I do. Right. Same as before, guys. Let's get rid of that fat because I don't want any of it. Do you know what I mean? That can come off. Lovely chubbly. Here we go. See you later, Adagaya. <laughs> Fucking colour of it. <laughs> hey, yo. Look, you never know till you try. It smells fucking handsome. I'll give it that, that's for sure. Then we pop, hoppity hop. Okay, just get this last bit off here. And then we are just about ready 
to glaze this bad boy at. We are going to have to put a bit of string around her to tie her up to hold her together, but that's pretty much the norm. There she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Did we catch anything in the net? Tackle. Stick another glove on, I think. So it's going to get bloody messy. Let's get this bad boy tied up, shall we? And then we're going to start see smoking. <laughs> I still keep laughing at the colour of it. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Turn it out that way, look. I say stop it. Let's tie this bad boy up, shall we? Like so. Look at that. Good as new. I think it's time to glaze this fella up with our bright orange glaze. Look at the colour of that. So we're going from a baboon's arse <laughs> to a baboon's dirty arse. Right, get plenty on it in all those nooks and crevices. You know the score by now, guys. Come on. Well, this glaze does look nice, though, doesn't it? Well, we're certainly getting some colour on it, girl, aren't we? I mean, you've got a Mitch. He does look pretty, doesn't he? Make sure you get it all, guys. Make sure you get it all. Why not waste not on all that? And, guys, that pretty much us. As you can see, we are set up on a standard indirect. And today, I've decided to go for a couple of chunks of the old hickory. We're going to stuff these two fellas in there. Put the old deflector plates back on. Smoke started to kick in already. Let's get this fella on. Happy days. Look at that. And here we go. Quick switch. Oh, listen for the sizzle. Oh, shite. Make a right fucking mess there. I will see you guys when this bad boy tack is up. We are at the 20 minute mark. Let's have a butcher's. Oh, <laughs> have a look at that. <laughs> I mean, you got to admit she does look pretty. I mean, if that gammon was walking down the street, you'd be all over it like a rash, wouldn't you? You know what I mean? Hey, right. Let's get this bad boy off to rest, shall we? Up she comes. One, two, three. Oh, and she pops. Happy days. Well, guys, you can't deny that it's taking the colour on of that Pacific punch, can you? <laughs> colour down. <laughs> right. I'm going to give this about 20 minutes to rest, then we're going to come back, and we're going to give her a try. I'll see you then. Right, guys, we are rested. Are you ready? Because I know I am. <laughs> we're going to turn around like so, and we're going to go for this bit here. She's tacked up beautifully. The I actually really like the colour of that the glaze that's come out of there. It looks beautiful, especially the nice smoky feel. I'm going to go right down the bottom down there. Are you ready for our Monster Pacific Punch Gammon? Here we go. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh. Oh, fucking going again. That. Oh, I'll just have that big chunk. Fuck it. It's got to be the level of sugar in these to do it. That is absolutely beautiful. Honestly. I'm going in a going. <laughs> That's absolutely beautiful. You can really taste the fruitiness of it. Using that English mustard on the glaze as well. I knew it can handle it. No problem whatsoever. Like that. Oh, that's a win. That is a definite win, guys. I promise you. You put that in front of anyone, they wouldn't be upset. Now, remember, don't forget to push all the fucking buttons, and I'll see you next time.